Welcome back to our system design series. Today we are diving into two important caching strategies. We have read through cache versus write through cache. Understanding these two strategies is crucial for designing systems that can deliver fast, reliable data access while maintaining consistency. Let's first start with the read through cache. So if you wanted to start with the read through cache, let's just put um, text here. So if, if someone looking like just try to understand what's going on. Okay, so let's ask, let's try to make a small system that uses read through cache. So let's see that we have a client and this client sends a request to our application and the application will send the request to the cache because the cache basically is in line with the VB and the and and uh, yeah the app the, the cache is in line with the db and the app so let's try to understand what's happening here um a read through cache is sits uh, basically sits between your application and your data store when your application requests data it first checks the the the, the cache if the if the if the data is available this is known as a cache hit the data will be returned otherwise it will be tried to fetch the data from the database and we call this a cache miss and it will be loading and sent back to the app so let's just try to understand this in more details let's assume that we have like um let's say that we have an e-commerce and we and the client want to read a product called p so the client will send the request to the app telling him hey i want to re read a product called p the app will send the request to the cache to search like do you have a product called p if the cache have this product, it will return it back to the app and we call this a cache hit and the app will return the product back to the client. However, if the cache doesn't have this product P, this we call a cache miss. So when a cache miss occurs, the cache will try to fetch the data from the DB, from the database, and by basically asking him, can you give me product P or do you have a product P? And if the database have the actual product, it, it will return it back to the database and, and to, to the cache, sorry, and the cache will store it for future use and it will return back to the app. This is how it works. This approach simplifies application logic as the cache automatically takes care of populating itself whenever a miss occurs. Read through cache is the best suited for read heavy workloads where, where frequently accessed data needs to be quickly available without querying the database every time. The benefits of that, first we have automatic uh, population because the cache automatically loads missing data, making the system more efficient and reducing the need for explicit cache management. The second thing, we have lower latency because frequently access data is returned quickly, um, reducing the load on the primary database and speeding up the response times. Um, there is uh, some problems with that. First, we have initial cache miss. Like the first uh, time a piece of data is required, it always, 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 always result in a cache miss, which means additional latency for the database read. Um, no, also there is no custom data modules because the cached data must have the same structure as underlying data store um, limiting flexibility. Um, let's talk about the write through cache. Let's add text here. And if I try to write the system that uses a write through cache, you will find it's, it looks like it's exactly the same system. Let's see that it's in the request to the app and in the write through cache, actually the cache is as well sits between the DB and the app. DB, okay. So, Let's just try to make it like that. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, this is great. So, in the write through cache, um, every write operation writes data to both the cache and the data store simultaneously. The write operation is considered complete only when both cache and the data store have successfully written the data. So let's try to understand how this works. Let's say the client want to write a product. Okay, write a product called S. 
So the, the client will send, yeah, I want to add a product called S, please add it to your database. So the app will add it to the cache first, and when the cache, once the cache added the, 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 the value or like the new product to it, it will try to write it to the database. If the product is written in both the cache and the database, we have a completion acknowledgement. The, the right operation is only considered complete once both the cache and the data store have successfully written the data, ensuring that the data remains consistent. So this is how it works. Write through cache is often used when, when data consistency is priority. Since both the cache and the database are updated at the same time, the cache is always synchronized with the underlying data store. Uh, the benefits of that, like data consistency first, because since the writes are made to both cache and, data, and the database, the data in the cache is always up to date. Second thing, we have a simplified read path because reads from the cache are straightforward since the cache is guaranteed to contain the latest data. Um, the drawbacks, we have some sort of write latency because every time operation involves writing to both the cache and the database, which can quite introduce some latency. And we have some sort of uh, write uh, amplification because writing to both the cache and the database for each write request can lead to increased over overhead and potential performance bottleneck, especially in write TV workloads. Um, let's talk right now when to use what. Let me just grab this and put it here. And let's just, yeah. Okay, let's talk about when to use what. Use ready or uh, use read through cache is ideal for read heavy applications where fast data retriever is important and data is frequently read but not updated very often. Examples including like a content delivery network or like content heavy websites, new porters, or product catalogs. Use write through cache is best suited for systems where data consistency is quite crucial and you need to ensure that the cache always has the most up-to-date examples including like banking applications or inventory systems where it's important that the cache and the database are always synchronized um so yeah that's it for for this video um i hope you like my content if you like my content subscribe and hit the notification bell so we never miss any video and see you in future videos